If you take a look at the displaced surface, you will notice um, that the displacement effect uh, well doesn't take in, in, in care if, if it's displacing the massive base or just a thin part of the branch. So especially in those thin areas, um, the mesh is badly deformed. Uh, so we have to look for a way to uh, overcome uh, those bad deformations. One way would be to use a gradient um, with a white color at the base of the trunk and a black color at the top and then multiply this gra gradient on top of the um, displacement texture. When you'll see the result you'll notice that this doesn't work <laughs> um, but uh, we'll try it at first. So activate the material editor, go for the displacement channel, click this uh, little icon and choose uh, fusion. Then uh, left click the fusion channel. You n see the displacement texture is already inside the fusion, the fusion shader. Then you have to set the mode to multiply. Take a look at the blend channel insert a gradient, change the direction to D slash V and uh, then see what happens. Now you can see uh, that there are areas with displacement like here or here and other areas where we don't have um, displacement. Uh, so, well, the gradient works um, to a certain degree, but because of the tiling, we used uh, the tile feature to tile the texture along um, the trunk. Because of this tiling, the gradient is repeated several times, and this, of course, um, is not what we want. But there is an easy solution to overcome this tiling problem of the gradient um, shader. Um, create a new dummy material and apply it uh, onto the stem. I'll drag it onto the left side so that during rendering uh, the bark texture is used. With this material icon active, open the bark texture, then go for the displacement channel inside the fusion shader and then take a look at the blend channel with the gradient um, shader. You'll have to left click the icon and choose Effects Projector out of this list. Now the gradient shader resides inside the projector, so left click the projector. Now we would like that the gradient really is um, stretched along the complete um, bark, uh, along the complete stem and uh, the main branches. So we could enter the proper values uh, and parameters manually, but um, because we use this uh, dummy material with the correct settings, um, which are the default settings in this case, uh, we can use the paste tag button and it simply copies the properties of this material icon. So here you can see uh, we have a UVW mapping um, and the tiles X and Y set to 1, which is what we need. Um, and then we don't want uh, tiling, so just deactivate tiling in this case. So um, now the gradient uh, should be projected along the complete uh, trunk. So when you now do a test render, you'll notice that uh, the result already looks much better, but still we have uh, some problems in artifacts. This comes because, um, well, at the end, the uh, yeah, color of the displacement channel um, drops, um, well, to negative values. Perhaps you remembered, we are using intensity centered. This means a gray stands for zero displacement, white values uh, stand uh, for positive displacement, and uh, in areas uh, where black color appears, uh, the displacement is negative, 
and uh, so in those areas where we have uh, a black color the displacement is negative and so we get um, artifacts again so now we have to find a way um, that uh, the values don't drop below zero um, in the upper area of the branches and uh, in the upper area of the trunk again we have several possibilities to solve this problem um, so I'll show you one of them the easiest solution is to change the displacement type from intensity centered to intensity so in this case uh, black means zero displacement and white means maximum displacement if you now hit the render button you'll notice the difference um, we only get a displacement that works um, outwards of course the complete appearance um, is a little bit thicker than before but we have a nice um, displaced trunk and main branches without artifacts but there's also a second way and uh, the second possibility um, makes use again of intensity centered I personally also like this more because uh, well the surface really can look much more rougher with this intensity centered version so now again left click fusion then copy the projected channel we need this activate use mask and then paste the copied projector into the mask channel we'll use this mask channel to um, mix uh, two um, well displacement textures and therefore we'll make a copy of the original displacement texture and uh, paste it into the blend channel so what we need now is a displacement texture um, uh, that uses a color range from medium gray to white with no black areas so that we don't get negative values and we can achieve this by um, adding for example the colorizer so now we have the displacement texture inside the colorizer remove the uh, red color you can remove um, by simply left clicking and dragging away you can add new um, well colors by double clicking in this area so then we remove the red one then double click the yellow icon change the color to white and then double click the black icon and change the color to this medium gray so now we have uh, our displacement texture with values between 0 and uh, maximum height and no negative values so when doing a test render we should see that the problems of the badly deformed mesh is um, well uh, solved we now have a really nice rough surface for our trunk and for the main branches so now we can remove the dummy material we don't need it anymore and sometimes um, well you need a different uh, tiling uh, settings on the branches for example or you want to work with uh, lower displacement values um, so you can uh, also use different textures on uh, on top of the branches I first copied um, the stem texture then I'm taking a look at the tiles I think one for tile X would be okay and perhaps four for tile Y now do another test render and see what happens it's preparing the displacement okay here we go yes I think with the lower um, tile settings uh, it looks already better and then of course uh, the strength of the displacement on the branches is a little bit too strong so perhaps we should simply copy the original bark material you can do this by uh, pressing control C and control V then take this new bark material 
go for the displacement settings and perhaps use a value of 7 something like that and then drag this new material on top of the old icon so let us take a closer look at the surface as you can see the displacement uh, sub polygon displacement um, creates a nice rough uh, surface and it also smooths out um, the well low resolution that we used during modeling so this is really a powerful tool um, to well create low poly objects um, and only during render time uh, they are uh, well smooth and displaced so that we get a nice surface for our tree so as a little summary I'll I want to give you those two points to keep in mind um, the first one it's uh, important that when you're using intensity centered um, that you keep in mind uh, that black values uh, stand for negative values and so the surface is pushed inwards and this can um, result in problems in areas uh, where you have a thin diameter so keep in mind uh, um, that you have to uh, well solve this problem um, for example with the projector and the gradient uh, shader um, the next point is um, the projector shader which is uh, really a helpful tool um, especially when you want uh, to combine um, a tiled texture with a bitmap um, that stretches along the complete um, uh, branch or along the complete um, trunk so with help of the projector you can combine tile textures and uh, textures that um, stretch along the complete plant so that's it for the rough surface um, the next step will show you how to build roots uh, with XROC4